uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back so now we are able to show these kind of filters now what we need to do we need to have an api which accepts the type and based on that we should be able to get the set of uh, results for the restaurant okay and uh, if we look at the restaurant information now we are able to populate the information here okay this we need to get uh, from the filter api okay so what we are going to do here is let's create a filter api here we will create a search parameter create restaurant install it as restaurant search param and here we are going to provide a type which should be of type string to require true okay and then we can also have the limit and offset limit which is of type number and this is optional A limit and page number like you can also add a pagination to that API so limit and page this is required false because if you are not providing I will always return the first page with the 10 results so we don't need to make it as required now this restaurant page restaurant search parameter we need to pass in our controller while creating the API so what we will do is we already have a restaurant list either we can modify that only so this should be a get restaurant by id and get or we can create one another api which will support the restaurant search and all so this is search and we will be passing query parameter get all search get all restaurant by search and here uh, we are going to pass the query parameter and here it is so restaurant search param okay, restaurant params id let's see what is the name this is is optional not coming uh, we copy it here so we need to import query and the restaurant for them both and we'll pass the params in like get restaurant get data by search and we are passing params it's not imported now we need to write this method So we will be adding this method in the restaurant service. So it will be a public method because we need to call it from our com controller. Public async gets it by this. We are passing params. And params is of type. Let's see what all things we have here is. Here we are passing the params of type this go to service and here the restaurant parents is of type this and now we will do is so here we have our query builder what we are doing is we are looking into the restaurant repo this is our table name and we are passing this like query okay and uh, if we just see this in the postman then uh, we are able to get this data also here we are we can 
use this restaurant search pass reg and we are getting the data okay so this is what we want now what if we are going to hit it from the nginx right because we are not going to use this local host 4000 as a port for our react application our react application is going to hit nginx nginx will talk to this swiggy microservice so that also we tested this is our api okay restaurant search first of all like set of restaurants we are already getting right and here we can add this query parameter this is our query parameter type is veg we are sending okay and uh, we are getting the results from that so this is the integration of the nginx with our apis now what we need is we need to hit this api from our client from our react app okay and uh, we will be getting the results so this is hitting the nginx nginx is talking to our swiggy microservice here you can see the restaurant information with the address is coming so what we are doing here is you can also just check the logs what all things are happening here this is the query we made to nginx this is the postgres query has been executed right we are actually looking for the restaurant information so you can also enable the query logger it is going to nginx talking to gatekeeper gatekeeper talking to gatekeeper is telling okay token is valid then it is going to our services services are running this query and giving us the response back this is the query we executed okay now it's the remaining part is all about the front end integration we hit this api local host port 88 api v1 restaurant and we will pass this query parameter uh, what we can add is we can keep this type optional currently i think it is required we can just say we can keep that if you are passing then the minimum length should be two but if you are not passing we should allow that by keeping this is optional in that case uh, you will just get all the data we can just implement this pagination which is nothing but pays and uh, limit i mean if you are passing page 2 limit 10 then you have to add a offset 10 in the query that's it okay now let's see uh, the front end integration of this with the redux and all uh, on the ui side in the next video